guys, good my loves. Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to do my makeup again and just talk about why I regret having my tummy tuck. This is what I'm looking like right now. I am almost six weeks post-op. I have been out of my Faja for about an hour and I have bloated up a lot all right here within the past hour. But since I ate a light breakfast, it seems like it's not bloating up as much as it kind of usually does when I'm out of my faha for so long. I kind of wanted to talk about all the things I've been experiencing that I didn't even know were things until they started happening to me, along with having a tummy tuck. So if you've seen my past videos on my tummy tuck and my journey recovering and everything, basically the main issue I had in the beginning of the tummy tuck was that I had, I guess, both of my drains on this certain nerve that was causing extreme pain. It was a sensation of burning that had basically had me immobilized for days at a time and it was the worst thing at the time that I was dealing with. And the good thing about that was that after the drains were removed, Moved, the pain just instantly left. So that pain only lasted about two, three weeks on and off. So that wasn't too hard to deal with, but at the same time at the time, it was very, very difficult because it was, like I said, immobilizing, I could not move sometimes for days and or hours at a time and it caused my butt to go so numb to the point where that started aching as well because I could not get up. After that, the hardest thing I dealt with was being on my period and in the faja at the same time because the faja is a zipper at the bottom and I could not put a pad on and if I had a tampon, it was just all super uncomfortable pressure on my area. So I had to remove move it for my whole period and just wear my wrap style garment along with just regular underwear. That was not painful, but it was super annoying and I realized I have to do it two more times, which my next period should be within this week, probably today, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. And I have to deal with the same thing. So I'm not sure how that's gonna go. I have gotten more used to the faja now, so I really hope that I'm able to still wear it. But considering how it went last time, I honestly doubt that it's gonna go too well. Besides just being on your period, the faja in general is extremely uncomfortable. I hated wearing it, well I still hate wearing it, but it's much more manageable now that I've gotten used to it. It. but for me the first few days were just painful as hell with the faja as well just because of the fact that it is a zipper at the bottom like I said so it feels like it was squeezing in my coochie it felt like my thighs the circulation was getting cut off I had imprints I still get imprints all over my body from the faja and whenever you remove imprints like if you've been wearing jeans all day and they've been pressing into your sides and you know you take them off it just aches all day well that's basically what it's like with my faja my sides have not gotten any break from it and have been hurting like crazy specifically just like all my hip bones on my like belly area that's been super painful i try not to touch it but i can't not wear the faja you know so the next thing i have been dealing with that is currently at the moment the worst um and i again feel immobilized but not as bad as say the burning pain it's not as bad it's my body is rejecting my dissolvable stitches, which I did not even know was a thing. But apparently, your body can say, hey, this is a foreign object with those stitches and try to take them out. It can just be a few at a time. It can just be one stitch. It can be multiple or it can be all your stitches. Your body can choose to reject all the stitches in your body and have you basically looking like a porcupine, taking them all out. Which is currently kind of where I'm at. <laughs> My body is seeming to be rejecting every stitch. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna be all of them, but that's just what it's looking like. For about a week or two, I've been having stitches poking out as well as little holes forming on my incision where the sutures are trying to get out from but just are not 
having the easiest time. So like my skin is literally opening. And at first I thought it was an infection because it looked like an infection. It was like a hole and it was green and it was painful. But what I thought was like, it's weird that I don't feel like a fever. I don't feel like the area around there is warm. It's not swollen. It's not super red. Like, I don't know. I didn't know what was going on. And then I talked to my surgeon about it. And, and that's when he told me about it could be a suture. Um, and I looked in at the area and yes, I saw the little clear stitch suture whatever you want to call it coming out and so i got a pair of tweezers and just started removing it i looked through the whole incision and found like six more poking out um but thankfully those weren't whole so i was able to just take those out and now i'm basically at a place where it's like I have a bunch of holes now. I have about five or six little holes on my incision, two of which are extremely painful because a certain area of my belly, I can't feel them because it's numb. But the rest of it, like my sides, it's where they're starting to go out towards because it was all just in the front of my belly, those few, like four. Now I have another one on this side and another one on the other side, but they're further from the middle of my belly. And so it's it's very painful. I can feel those every time I walk, um, every time I have my faha on because it squeezes and they're open incision area, um, it's squeezed and you can feel it and it hurts. It hurts. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. It hurts. I could have been working right now, but because of that pain, I cannot do much again, again. <laughs> What I've been doing for upkeep is simply cleaning it once a day and changing the gauze and medical tape on it once a day as well. And that's been just seeming to do good. It's not gotten infected. It's fine, but it's still painful. And I'm having trouble on three little sutures that do not want to come out. The rest of them, I didn't even have to put any pressure or anything. It just like came out. There's very, very small little sutures and they just easily came out and it was no issue. But on the area that's numb, that I have a big hole it's not like big big i'm gonna insert a picture so please this is gonna be a little graphic warning for you of the hole i'm talking about right here okay so now that you saw that basically that one has three sutures in there at first was two but one of them was bent like this and it wouldn't come out so i cut it and now it's two and i've pulled all three of them gently and they don't come out okay so i then i did a little bit more force they don't want to come out like at all so i don't want to mess with them because the whole area is numb so i don't know if i'm hurting myself or not if it's not going to come out i'm going to wait for it to push it out then because that's what my body that's what my body is doing it's pushing it out on its own so i'm not going to force it and hurt myself um besides that though that thing about it being numb that's another thing i did not know was going to happen after surgery after having a tummy tuck was that most people's whole abdomen goes numb and sometimes that can be for a few days weeks um a year two years of your whole let me show you what mine is for me, it's all from like here, all throughout here and here. This whole thing is numb to the touch. I cannot feel anything except on the inside of my like skin, right? Like the skin itself and like my abs, I don't feel them at all. I am blending my contour right now. Hold up. <laughs> so yeah, I've asked people, I've done research on that and basically what I found was that, yeah, I can go from a day, a few days, weeks, months, or years, or permanently numb, which is absolutely terrifying because who in their right mind would want their whole entire abdomen to be numb for the rest of their life? I already get worried because I've gotten literal like cuts ish on my belly from the faha and I cannot feel it so I don't know what I'm doing to myself if I'm hurting myself and it's terrifying bro I don't want to mess up my results I don't want to hurt myself I don't want to cause any damage you know what I mean like it's stressful I don't know when that's gonna come back I'll let y'all know that I am six weeks almost six weeks haven't felt much of anything coming back so 
So those are a few of the things I've been dealing with and things I did not know could happen after a tummy tuck. Besides that, the process has been okay outside of all those things I just mentioned. I honestly, I love my results, don't get me wrong, but the whole pain, the fact I haven't been able to do much like clean, cook, be there for my daughter, work, it has been a world of stress. It has been just, it's just stress. That's the best way I can describe it. So much stress. And that has caused me to feel so much regret doing this because I'm like, oh my goodness, like, if I would have known how much struggle I would be going through, I probably wouldn't have done it. Or I would have prepped way better beforehand. Um, I just definitely was not prepared to be out of work for over a month. It's just, it's been so stressful. And I'm doing my best to keep it under control, figure it out, you know, just like a mom would. But yeah, I feel just like I regret it. I do. And you know, maybe that'll change, but so far it hasn't since I've been regretting the other pain and everything so I guess we'll find out we'll see how it all goes and I'll update y'all later I love y'all so much and I'll see you on the next one